Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Division. Alright, where we left off, we have Jessica Kendall has been rescued, and next up, I believe we're going to go we're liberate... They're killing everyone in sight! Damn it, if they blow open the flood... This tunnel is the major supply line. What we need to and yes, we're gonna have to listen to so world. much but chatter. But yes, we're gonna go ahead and free Roy Benitez from the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint. We have and picked up a sniper rifle. It are not special. It's just a Mosin M44 with a suppressor, the original scope, and yeah. We do have our lovely G36 as well, and for a sidearm, we have our, eh, whatever, Beretta. Not that I'm disrespecting the Beretta product line, because the 92 is a fine firearm for commercial use. So, we're going to trips on over here. We're at level 5. Our gear is marginal at best. I'm overwhelmed. Hmm. What have you given me, woman? Not bad. We're gonna go ahead and take it. Use it. We're gonna strip the suppressor off of this guy. And since this has capability using four mod slots, we're going to go ahead and equip the suppressor. And I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else. Oh, well, we do have an extended magazine. We'll drop that on there. And we got to make it look pretty. I like the alligator, but for now, we're going to go with the um, Hades. We'll try to find an underbarrel for it somewhere. All right, so moving right along. Dispatch to patrol. One of our scouts located a stronghold at the storage huh. yard on West Thirty Third. They need backup. Nothing. Why don't you go check it out? Hell no. You're trying to get me killed. Grenadier. So we're gonna target him first. Huh. He didn't make it. Well, I know what this mission is here, so. We're going to have one Elite, and we're going to have a couple other ones that are going to come out of this garage door over here. Right there. We just need to trigger it. There we go. was kind of crappy. We don't like you. Come on. So, that was a quick and easy one to give me security wing points. Thanks for all your help, Division. We owe you. Yes, I picked up a gray, uh, gray item. There will be a reason for picking up that gray item, because even though I have some stored, and there's a sniper rifle, um, there is an achievement you can get that you have one of each level. So if you have a gray, a green, a blue, an orange, one of each uh, classification of gear score, or gear type, uh, you get an achievement for it. And you get a cipher key so you can unlock one of those pretty caches. So let's take a look at the sniper rifle that we picked up and a couple of the G36s. But, eh, damage per shot is lower naturally on the semi automatic. But we're going to go ahead and take it. It's got disciplined because killing a target will make your next shot become a, an automatic critical hit. 
So we're going to take our lovely M44. We're going to pull the suppressor off of it because that's the only thing we added. We're going to equip this, put the suppressor on. It gives a little bit more critical hit. Good stability, or we're going to go with reload speed for now. Getting the extra round there, and now here's the pickle. We can use an EOTech and get extra critical hit damage, but we're not going to have the long range. So we're going to keep the original. 1% headshot uh, damage and we'll go ahead and do that now as for the G36 let's actually take a look this one has focus that we can't use focus that we can't use focus that we can't use so we'll look at the damage 268 271 269 so, add the heck with it. We'll go ahead and use it. And we'll hit X to strip the weapon. And then, let's go ahead and set her up. And we'll use the angled grip on this one. The G36 is not known for its outstanding controllability. And we picked up another holster. We're actually going to run that because it's going to give us a little bit more on firearms and on stamina. We're not using a whole lot of electro electronic gear right now, so you should always get into the habit of, I'm not going to use this anymore, so I'm either going to mark it as junk or I'm going to break it down to disassemble it. Um, right now, I'm kind of mixed back and forth, so I'm just going to V on them. Now, eat a dick, go away, you whore. Anyway, being that now the accounts have, your currency is spread between all four characters, just like the Phoenix credits are, and your DZ funds, because um, I'm level 5, there's no way that I've incurred that many Phoenix credits, DC funds, or credits. So they're all unified across your, your entire account. So, eh. We're going to save that pistol just in case. And we're going to prep those for the garbage. Alright, so being that it's all unified, and yes, I have three other level 30 with 256 gear. So, Right now, all of my gear is going to be unified. Oh, crap. Excuse me, pardon me. Um, and there's my kit. So I'm going to be cheating, and I'm going to be upgrading my armor as I go, purchasing it as I go for things that I don't pick up that are any better than what I'm wearing. Um, if you're a new character, um, you don't have that luxury or that option. Immediate support at the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint. These assholes are storming the blockade. If they blow the floodgates, mm -hmm. they can put this whole thing underwater. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I've already got the achievement on my main account, but there is an achievement where while you're in cover, you close 20 car doors. It's an easy cipher fragment. There's no reason not to get it. <laughs> it's just takes you a few minutes of screwing around while you're in cover just walk by and it'll automatically close the doors get enough of them and I don't think I've done it on this this account well, that door's kind of screwed up now the the cipher keys they're not really all that necessary they're not going to give you gear that will affect your performance but it gives you cosmetic gear and why not you know like I said this is a very very easy one to uh, to get just close the trunk I don't think that counts that door didn't work so just do it and 
and get it. it it's free cosmetic gear. And who doesn't want to look awesome? Yes, it's boring to watch. Sorry. I mean, you're going that way anyway. So you might as well do it. Come on, you turd knuckles. Melee guy coming. You're still alive. Go away. Don't mind your butt niblet. There we go. Doorman completed. All right. So. We'll make our way through here. The best thing to consider when doing this mission is just take your time. On my regular account, on my normal skill build, I will run this in challenging mode solo with very little issues. accommodations you can get for completing missions without using med kits. Now, with that in mind, that does not include the use of what I just used, um, skill-based first aid. Um, med stations, things like that, they don't count towards that. Just like whenever you're doing the pistols only, the Pistol Pete mission, and yes, doing Dragon's Nest with a handgun only can be slightly traumatic to the brain. Now, one of the other achievements you can go for is um, doing all those missions without anybody dying. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Someone eventually is going to die, especially during Dragon's Nest. Because of the flame, you know, the, the, the fire being Captain, shot everywhere, it's just the very the little chance you're going to make it through Jesus, without getting like killed. By Don't let them you're going to have through. one hell of a reclaimer set. Now, doing this mission, this is the path that I take. I come up here, I get the high ground, and you can come over here and have shots on these two snipers that are up here. Now, I would absolutely love to have my skill build right down and just lob seekers over the top. Since I don't have that luxury, I do the next best I can just sit up here and get shot at a lot. Now there are some fuel cans that are spread around that you can use. First aid. not enough of them to be a complete equalizer. There's one here. You will have some of these guys that will just naturally run through that area. Really? You lived? Captain oh, the JTF did something. Loud. Hey! We are Yay, JTF! In general, if you haven't noticed That's from playing the game or you know, my comments, the JTF are pretty much worthless. They're going to do very little damage. I'm going to take the green, the gray, excuse me. Uh, they just don't contribute enough in a battle to amount to anything. So just because you have JTF support on site doesn't mean you're going to have much in the way of anything. Now, like, leaving a, a mob with five health, yeah, sometimes they'll actually kill the, the ones with five health, but yeah, don't rely on them for doing anything. 
Listen, I'm sending one of my people down to All take right, care of so that bomb. Cover her ass. If you need to restock. But here's where it comes in fun on this particular mission. Everybody has their own different way that they like to run this section. I actually you know, prefer doing it on a skill build. But I like to come up here and get on this fence. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your now, position. I'll actually switch over to the sniper and try to do what I can here. He's my higher threat. So I'm going to target him first. Now, in between these waves, <clears throat> definitely want to reload. Having a turret and seeker mines, it's a godsend on this. You can sit right here, throw your turrets right there, and then as soon as they drop down onto the truck, the seeker mine, if you've already got it maxed out, it will climb up there and get them. If not, you need to wait till they're on ground level. Okay, he's melee, so he is a definite priority. A long time to wait just to get this done. Alright, I got a purple coming. Uh, I'm not sure, but I may have a melee coming. Now, grenades can come in handy as well. Whenever there are two or three of them that were right there, I probably could have just gone ahead with a, um, a grenade. Well, can you shoot that? Pretty sure you can. Now, the temptation is to go ahead and jump over this little railing right here and go out there, set up somewhere, but that's a no-go. As soon as you go out there, you will get a uh, the green bar where it's next to your timer of how much time you have left. That will rapidly diminish, showing that um, you're not defending, and you will fail the mission quickly. All right, 42 seconds left. Well, that was a wasted grenade. Now, you could also just save one and let them just sit there and wait till your timer runs out. But at this point, you really want to get experience. Try that grenade again. Run, Cletus. Come on, learn how to shoot. Damn it, and that will be mission complete for this section. Now you got time to go ahead and rearm. And if you haven't done the mission before and you want to listen to the banter of the worry about it is your next stage you're gonna end up going and I like to get a good sniper position for the longest time I stayed on the bottom floor and you'll see where I where I'm talking about when I get there the um, you did a good job defusing that bomb now come stand in the way and make stupid banter because you're gonna anyway You know, I'm kind of running through here like I've been here before. Hi, right, Benitez. You suck. Jesus, what we got you suck left? even more. So, make sure you're you're well armed. Run over. Go upstairs. Now, downstairs. I used to go down there, but there's a slight bug where the enemy can shoot through the garage door. You can't, but they can, and they will shoot through it, and they will rip your butt to shreds. Here, since I only have 148 rounds of sniper, and I'm probably going to need them. Good 
because of the inferior nature of the gun. Hmm, you're just chilling over there, aren't you? He's gonna hurt a lot. That wasn't close. Now you're gonna have these snipers over here. They're gonna kinda hang out. They're gonna be a pain in the butt. Kinda wanna ignore them right now. Let them come down like you're doing now. Snipers should always be your priority whenever you're in a cover position like this. Melee guys, these guys right now are not even close to being a priority. You see what I mean from the snipers? I almost got killed there because of this sniper right there directly in front of us. And I'm going to let myself naturally heal first. Now that my heal has come back, I'm going to use that. Let it come up to full before I engage in the sniper. I want to make sure that I kick Agent, their butt. Your have a sniper positioned ahead. Keep your eyes open. Now, you can run down there and go ahead and start engaging in this sniper. You will not be able to reach him from here. However, you can reach his buddies who cannot reach you other than gunfire. So, take your time. Clear these guys out. Since you have some safety here, there's a fast way to get down, but the easiest way is to go ahead and, and I'll show you the rope. It's going to be right over here, but you're going to need to go back and rearm. So you can go either way, but since we also have a green over here we can go pick up, we'll probably do that. Now JTF have moved up, so yeah, you should feel safe because they're there. See, crosshair doesn't turn red. Yay, headshot. Come on, turtle heads. Alright, after this one... Should be all the close ones. It should have one more spawn. And there he is. That's actually the boss. But there should be... Nope, there, the boss is right there. Ooh, 511 damage. That's epic. So we're going to go ahead and go down and pick up some ammo, release the rope with F, and then use control to go ahead and repel down. Come over here and grab this green, whatever ammo I can find. Mm, I'm going to pass. Probably going to take fire here. Yep, surplus SVD. Actually, that probably wouldn't be a bad spot. Because I can sit here out of the way of the boss. Although, it would be nice to, to zoom in. of the game here is you get with this crosshair you get the crosshair changing to a red whenever you're on target which is nice but if you zoom in you don't get that luxury would you die already I mean, seriously Seriously.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and now move to a position where we can engage on the sniper. Now, you can sit here and engage at distance, but you're not going to get a hell of a lot of damage at longer range. Which he pops his head down. So now when he pops his head up, we can try and make a headshot. Now, JTF are shooting at him, which is causing him to be suppressed. Come on, stick your head back up. Damn JTF for screwing up things all over again. And he jumps down and does his thing, runs around, and then comes back up again. Yes, and take a top shots. But occasionally you can get a good shot right there where you're going to get his head above the tires. The threat has been eliminated. I thank you, my guys thank you, and the people in New York fucking thank you. But do they really effing thank you? It's what I really want to know. I mean, seriously. Good job, Agent. If they'd blown those floodgates, we would have lost a major supply line. Mm -hmm. Now Benitez can get back to the security yeah. wing. Yeah, See you now we can here. get to work. Alright, so instead of walking back, I'm going to go ahead and use the fun feature of teleporting, and I can't teleport to there. There. Excuse me. Being a dumbass. But yeah, teleport back to the base of operations and go back and then talk to Butt Nugget and we have freed Benitez and now we'll have access to the security wing. Talk to Roy Benitez. Yeah, we'll initiate the conversation, but we're not really going to talk to him. We don't really like him that much. Agent, we've recovered a disturbing piece of video footage. Mm -hmm. These sure rioters are goddamn animals. Yes, Last they are. she's uploaded it for you. Mm-hmm. Wow. I can do this, and then I don't care. Go right into that I don't care thing. So now, we'll go over here. And I'm sure we, we definitely needed to have these these lines on here, because, yeah. Because reasons. Come in. Talk to Benitez. And I'm not going to talk to him. Now we have access to go to, even though we've booted it up, it's still not anything there. We'll go ahead and talk to the laptop. And we're forced into, for each of the wings, to sit through the hints. And when you get to the end, this you're forced great. to upgrade your this situation. Stuff is we can really take care of business. Yeah, I don't good, care. Kid. I don't care. Shut up. Okay, so from here... The next unlocks are up to you, but um, the armory is a good one to go with next, or maybe the barracks. Uh, what you're going to end up with is the armory gives you the advanced weaponry. There's a new vendor you can use and purchase gear. Uh, barracks, the big is survival link, which I don't really use, um, but this perk here combat veteran increases XP gained from accolades by 25% so you're gonna get faster experience and level up faster once you've unlocked that dark zone ops I really don't care about but if you're gonna run a, a ballistic shield this is the one you're gonna to want to unlock because this gives you your different types of shields um, and also gives you a vendor here for uh, dark zone um, funded equipment Supply line is going to give you smart cover, which I don't really use, but you know you may use it. Go right ahead. But it gives you a clothing vendor where you can buy cosmetic items from time to time. Uh, gunsmith is going to give you mobile cover, different types of mobile cover. But you also get um, increased duration on explosive bullets, and you get gunsmith where you can pick up crafting items from uh, a cash box on the floor. Scavenger, uh, or part of a procurement team, gives you the ability to have um, a scavenger box where you can pick up your level-related gear. So if you're level 10, it'll give you a level 10 item. Guard post, um, you get a special ammunition uh, box where you can go and get free explosive bullets or incendiary or whatever. Uh, but it gives you chain reaction and precision, which those two can come in handy. Shooting range, 
definitely is cool because it gives you a shooting range you can go and test your guns and your DPS canine unit essentially yeah one is done is one I use quite a bit but the reward perk re reward is going to allow you to see once you complete all the side missions and encounters in that zone it'll reveal all the undiscovered undiscovered intel so telephone conversations or missing agents those things will now be visible on there so you'll be able to clear that map area or that section which we'll look at that also um, like say this this area right here is Pennsylvania Plaza spam central once you complete these missions then you're not really going to get much from this one but so we'll actually use um, this one for an example I haven't been there yet with this character so once you go here discover it get and unlock all the missions do all the missions and side missions and then you get um, a priority target mission you can run but you'll also get a, a bonus to tell you okay now go to this safe house and as soon as you go to that safe house you'll get another bonus so pay attention to the little nuances of the game you'll be able to to get little bits of experience here and there now once you reach level 30 you get the end game and yes you'll have a an XP slider just like you've got up here for me at level 6 at level 30 you're not going to go past level 30 but whenever that bar mix all the way to the end and it gives you what will be normally a level up now it's going to give you a combat proficiency cache where you can open it up and get free gear items um, so it's a little incentive to keep leveling and keep doing things um, hey, don't walk away. what we'll do is we'll stop this one as okay we've unlocked the security wing on the next let's play we'll do Oh, idiot. I mean, um, the tech wing. And we'll go and free Butt Nugget from his morgue. Alright, so. Thanks for watching this part of our Let's Play. And even though only gained one level. Uh, yeah. Please leave comments. Please subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, middle finger, whatever you got. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one, where in our next episode, we're going to go ahead and save Paul Rhodes. He is a bit of a loudmouth weirdo, so, you know, whatever. Alright, well, enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one.